Hi friends, in this video, we are going to study fifth question of the 2019 HNDA financial management pass paper that evaluates cost of capital subject. If you think this video is useful, give a like, share with your friends and subscribe this channel with click the bell button for getting the notification of the forthcoming videos. Okay, let's go to the video. An extract from the statement of financial position of POR company has been given below. Ordinary share capital per share value rupees 20. Total value of the ordinary share capital 500,000. Retained earnings 700,000. 15 percentage debentures rupees 200 each. 500,000 total value of the debentures. Preference share capital each 20 rupees. Total value of the preference share capital is 300,000. So total cost of capital is 2 million for the POR company has been issued. For the additional information, you have been given following additional information. All the debentures and preferentias are irredeemable. 12% of dividend has been promised to pay for preferentias. Ordinary chairs, debentures and preferentias are sold in the market at the price of Rs. 20 and Rs. 180 and Rs. 16 each. Risk free rate have been identified as 4%. Beta value is 125 and market risk premium is 9.6%. Tax rate of the company is 40%. You are required to calculate cost of ordinary chair capital, cost of preference chair capital, cost of debenture capital. Finally, you are required to calculate weighted average cost of capital based on market values. As per the question, first we have to calculate the cost of ordinary chair capital. For the ordinary chair capital, these information is given in the question. These are the information for the ordinary chair capital. So we can calculate cost of equity chair capital as per this information. Every ordinary chair capital is 20 rupees par value. Total ordinary chair capital 500,000. Ordinary chair capital can be sold in the market at rupees 20 rupees. So market value of the ordinary chair capital is 20 rupees. And additionally, given this information, risk free rate can be identified as 4% and beta value is 125, market risk premium is 9.6%. So we can calculate the cost of equity KE in the equation of CAPM model capital assets pricing model ke equal rf plus beta into rm minus rf here rf meaning risk free rate of return beta meaning beta value coefficient of beta rm meaning market rate of return risk premium equal rm minus rf as for the question rf given 4 percentage so rf we can apply rf 4 percentage plus beta value also given 1.25 into rm minus rf risk premium Rm minus Rf equal to risk premium. Risk premium has 
given directly 9.6 percentage so 9.6 percentage so final answer for the cost of equity ke equal 16 percentage 16 percentage o we can say without the percentage zero point one six so we have calculated cost of ordinary share capital as per the questions and we are moving to calculate cost of reference share capital for the reference share capital these informations are given in the question reference shares rupees 20 each total value of the reference share capital is 300,000 reference share capitals are sold in the market at a price of rupees 16 each these are the informations are given for the calculating cost of reference shares of the POR PLC KP cost of reference share capital equal D1 divided by P0 D1 equal dividend P0 equal market value of the reference share so D1 we know Twelve percentage dividend has been promised to pay for reference shares. Twelve percentage dividends, twelve percentage into twenty rupees per share per preference share. So dividend per share is twenty rupees into twelve percentage. Twenty rupees into twelve percentage divided by P note market value of the preference share is. 16 rupees so answer for the cost of reference here is 0 0.15 or we can say in the percentage fifteen percentage So we have calculated cost of ordinary share capital and cost of reference share capital. So we have to calculate cost of debenture capital. For the debenture capital, this information is given in the question. 15 percentage debentures rupees 200 rupees each. Total value of the debenture is 500,000. And the debentures can be sold in the market at a price of rupees 180 rupees and tax rate of the company is 40 percentage in the source of capital debentures only can be debentures can be deductible tax so tax percentage of the company is 40 percentage as for the information, we can apply in the equation for calculating the cost of debt. The irredeemable cost of debt with the market value. The irredeemable cost of debt with market value equation for the cost of de debt is I 1 minus T divided by P naught. I meaning interest, 1 minus T meaning tax rate, P naught meaning market value of the debt as per the equation we can apply here i interest rate we should calculate uh, as per the question 15 percentage debentures rupees 200 each so interest rate 15 percentage interest rate 
into 200 rupees divanger power value into 1 minus t tax percentage is tax percentage is 40 percentage so far value of the, so tax percentage is 40 percentage divided by market value of the debentures 180 rupees 180 rupees so we can find the final answer for the debenture capital cost of debenture cost of debt Two hundred into fifteen percentage into one minus forty percentage tax rate totally divided by market value of the divanger hundred and eighty rupees. So 0 0.1 we can say in the percentage 0 0.1 percentage equal 10 percentage 0 0.1 equal to percentage 10 percentage So we have calculated Cost of equity KE equal 16 percentage, cost of reference capital KP equal 15 percentage, cost of debt KD equal 10 percentage. Now we have to calculate the weighted average cost of capital. First we have to calculate the market value of the source of capital, ordinary chair capital, number of ordinary chair capital as per the question, 500,000 total value. Each ordinary chair capital issued at rupees 20. So 500,000 divided by 20, number of chair capital, number of ordinary chair capital, into market price of the ordinary chair capital, 20 rupees. So, 500,000 divided by 20 into 20. 500,000 divided by 20 into 20. So, the same answer because market value equal issued value. Par value. Par value equal market value. For the preferential capital, we have to calculate the market value as per the question preferential capital each 20 rupees total preferential capital at the power value 300,000 so 300,000 divided by 20 uh, we can calculate total number of preferentials into market value of the preferential is 60 rupees 16 rupees So, 300 rupees, 300,000 divided by 20 into 16 rupees market value. So, 240,000 for reference here at market value. For the debenture, debenture, every debenture power value 200 rupees. Total value of the debenture at power value 500,000. So 500,000 divided by 200 into market value of the debenture is 180. So 500,000 divided by 200 into market value, market value of the debenture 180. So debenture at market value is 450,000. So total value of the cost so total value of the source of capital at market value 1.19 million 
now we have to calculate the weight ordinary chair capital at the market value divided by total value of the source of capital and preference share capital at the market value divided by total source of capital and in the, in the debentures total value of total market value of the debentures 450000 divided by total source of capital value 1.19 million we have already calculated cost of capital so directly we can apply 16 percentage ke preference share capital kp 15 percentage kd cost of debt 10 percentage weight multiply cost of capital 6.72 percentage for ordinary chair 3.03 percentage for preference chair capital 3.78 percentage for debenture capital so total weighted average cost of capital is 13.5 5.3% KE cost of equity capital or cost of ordinary chair capital RF also given risk free rate of return 4% 1.25 value beta value risk premium is given 9.6% so, so the KE equals 16% KP cost of reference share capital D1 divided by P0 D1 dividend 20 rupees per preference share at par value 12 percentage dividend percentage promised percentage so multiply par value into dividend percentage divided by P0 P0 equal market value of the preference share so the final answer for the cost of preference share is 15 percentage kd irredeemable debenture with market value equation but i interest rate 15 percentage into debenture at par value 200 rupees into 1 minus tax rate 40 percentage divided by p naught debenture at par value debenture at market value 180 rupees so the answer for the kd cost of debentures 10 percentage so weighted average cost of capital we have calculated uh, first we have to calculate the market value for the uh, source of capitals uh, and we have to calculate the weight we have to calculate it already the cost of capital uh, we have to multiply weight into cost of capital so the final answer weighted average cost of capital is 13.53 percentage.